capture. Okay, so sinking. Three, two, one, down. Three, two, one, up. Hello! How are you guys doing today? My name is Anima and today we have team the team we have the team analysis video versus Swiskers versus the almighty Enzo Poker TV. His links will be in the description down below. So this is planning for week four. I will let you know right now that this is actually being done retroactively because I had to battle Enzo immediately in week three, actually, following battling for Domion. Stressful week indeed. <laughs> I had like three league battles in that week alone. Oh god. Anyway, yeah. Because he was going on holiday, so he wouldn't be there for week four, so we had to plan this very, very quickly. So this is why this is being done retroactively, because I didn't have the time to do it last week, really. So, yeah, um, it's a bit weird doing this, knowing the results of the battle. Uh, it's a bit strange. But, um, but anyway, yes, so he is the coach of Swiskers. He has an unbeaten record, and he is pretty scary. He is... Um, he has been toted as one of the one of the people to fear in this league I think and uh, he has like a powerful draft which you'll be seeing on the screen and it's pretty scary there's a lot of bulk to it he's got like he's got sort of like lots of bulk with like things that he can just kind of slot in for like extra for like the offense part of it so he's got the Victini which is just ferocious and I really like Victini <laughs> I've only used it like three times in my life but I adore Victini it's just a very very cool Pokemon uh, right now you might be seeing Landorus T there and stuff, just keep in mind that Landorus T wasn't there and Chansey is, Chansey was there, and something else wasn't there and Virizion was there, so Virizion was something to keep in mind as well during this planning. And of course he has the Mega Venusaur, now, very very scary team overall, lots of, oh god, lots of bulk and some cleanup sweepers, some ferocious cleanup sweepers in the likes of Slurpuff and Sharpedo. And he's got shit that can just wall stuff forever. So very, very threatening indeed. And yes, my panties are, you know, curling in fear. I don't know why I always refer to my underwear as doing the, the actions. Even if it's fear, it's not. It should always be just appreciation, right? But it becomes fear. I don't, I don't know. The, the panties are fear. Anyway, so let me show you who I have decided to bring in response to all of these threats. <laughs> I've moved slightly to the left or right. I can't really tell from this uh, screen. So, this is the star of the show, we brought Caboose, the Reuniclus, uh, the Trick Room Sweeper that did so well last week for us versus the Welshions, and, uh, which was a very, very, oh my goodness, very, very close game, Frito is scary, everyone is scary, oh god, we're gonna need to say like five Hail Marys before every battle. Anyway, we've got Caboose here, and we're not running Trick Room this time because his team isn't necessarily particularly fast. I mean, yes, Slurpuff and Sharpedo can set up to horrifying extremes, but I don't think Sharpedo is coming. And uh, Slurpuff could be coming because Fairy does a decent number to my team. I don't really have any resists, but I do have bulk that can endure it. But anyway, so we've got Caboose. And my whole point with Caboose is just to set up late game, is to trap something with infestation, be it that Chansey or the Suicune, and just calm mind all over its face. So bold max defense, magic guard. And this is the counter to Stall. I know that Enzo is comfortable with Stall. He has expressed several times that it's his favorite playstyle and that he likes to use it. So he might, if he's taking me seriously, he might resort to doing Stall just so that, you know, he might, yes, that's his preferred playstyle, so he might do it. Um, anyway, so yeah, this is Caboose and this is our plan really to just trap shit and then set up all over it because Caboose doesn't get okayed by anything really. We can take hits. Like, at full HP, we can take hits for days, um, and yeah, we just need to eliminate the Victini and, yeah, do a couple things with that, and then we can start setting up and it'll be the rad, so. We've got Noodler, the Tangler. Now, this is, like, my fullback in case Sharpedo somehow makes an appearance, in case uh, the Slurpuff does. We can actually take any hit. Uh, because we're bold as well, we're bulky. I know we're running lots of bulk, but we have to. <laughs> we have to, because things are too scary. We've got Sunspore, Hidden Power of Fire, Giga Drain, and Psychup. Uh, Hidden Power of Fire is so that we can smack the Fortress if it wants to get fancy and switch in on Giga Drains and stuff. We've got Psychup just in case it's a Crocoon. We can steal its stat changes. If it's like mono attacking with Rest Talk, Scald, and Calm Mind and stuff, we can steal it and 1v1 it very, very well, so. That's the whole thing with the psych up and the shenanigans, so please set up <laughs> is the <laughs> is the kind of thing with that. 
Um, but yeah, otherwise just a wall with Regenerator too. And Regenerator is super nice because we might have to switch around a lot. Yep. So we're going to go into 8th Wonder now, the Mega Meta Cham, which is just like the beast. I just love her so, so much. But looking at this, 8th um, Wonder is in case the Mega Venusaur comes. And uh, to be honest, I have so much Psychic on my team that I don't really know if Venusaur at the time of planning. I didn't really know if Venusaur would make an appearance anyway. Um, but we have to, we can't, you can't just not prepare for Mega Venusaur, you know, you've got to have something and Mega Metacham is more than something to deal with Mega Venusaur. So we have Rockside just to catch Victini on the switch because generally speaking Victini is a wall to most standard Mega Metachams. So we can just Rockside it or I was tempted to Rock Tomb but I really wanted damage. So <laughs> I just wanted to break that thing because that thing is the major threat. If it's like E-Belt or something, even if it's just Scarf, yeah, just horrifying. Uh, V-Create is no joke, so yeah, we've got this Metacham to kind of deal with shit. We've got Bullet Punch to smack Slurpuff in case it wants to get cute. We can out prioritize Curum as well. We need to whittle it down though because it won't be like a one shot with Bullet Punch, but um, Drain Punch will just destroy lives. Drain Punch for recoverability, I decided to run that instead of High Jump Kick this time because Bold Suicune, I <laughs> scary things, so many scary things. So we decided not to take too many risks because missing sucks and I've been very lucky to land on my high jump kicks lately. So mm, let's not tempt fate, shall we? Anyway, next Pokemon is Big Blue. The Latios, I love you, Big Blue, You're just so reliable. So we've got heal block just in case shenanigans occur uh, with, um, you know, fucking rest and, and all that and horrible, painful stuff. We've got Defog because I don't have a spinner, we're just gonna do that. And uh, he's got potential, like, set up hazardy bastards in the Omastar and Fortress, especially. So, no! <laughs> no, thank you, it's not happening. And uh, Draco, Meteor, and Psyshock just for, like, coverage, stab, destruction. Um, honestly, he does, like, Slurpuff could come in, but not really to a side shock. so my whole point here is just to whittle away the team and then set up at the end of the Uniclus, that's really the whole game plan. So, um, to this extent, we're trying to stop things from recovering, get rid of hazards, not that the Uniclus really cares, but it just helps the team out. And, uh, Draco and side shock, yeah, <laughs> uh, would be nice to have Hidden Power Fire for the Fortress, but, like, I fucking... Every time I like put hidden power blah on everything, the thing just dies straight away or something, and then I have hidden power useless on everybody else <laughs> for the rest of the game. So yeah, there's big blue, timid life orb, max special attack, and so on. Just you know, that kind of stuff. Um, I think we might have like a little bit less speed EVs just so that we can create, uh, just so that we can have a little bit more bulk. But um, I don't have the specific EVs. If you'd like to see really specific EVs, uh, let me know, I guess. But <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> if there is a really specific EV spread I've done, I will, like, I will put it down because I'll be like, Meh, look at this EV spread. Anyway, next is Newt Toot, another mysterious staple. I don't know. <laughs> Newt Toot's just hilarious. Uh, we are calm, specially defensive this time. Um, we've normally been max uh, physical defense, but this time we're specially defensive. And we've got Moonblast, Aromatherapy, Wish and Protect because I just don't want Metacham to get burnt or paralyzed. I don't want my walls to get toxic. So this is my whole... Uh, point and agenda here with the aromatherapy and stuff and things. So we've got some special box so we can handle Curum potentially that kind of thing. I'm frightened of E-Belt shenanigans because if stuff has like mysterious steel type moves just to hit certain things with it's gonna, oh god it's gonna be a bit of a pain in the ass. So next Pokemon is Flossy the Hippowdon. Um, this time I think we are especially defensive once again. I think we're like a little bit of a mysterious spread here with a little sprinkle of special defense and some defense I think is the is the thing because we want to be able to take hits from the Victini I think and yeah just take hits and set up rocks. Whirlwind shit out if it wants to get cute and uh, yeah slack off. It's good. You keep. It's good. It's good. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, we have. I don't really know. Like, if the, if the Slurpuff wants to come in, we can just whirlwind it if it wants to, you know, belly drum and do that kind of shit and horribleness. So that's the whole intent with Flossie is just to take stuff. We have the Rindo Berry because I want to live an energy ball potentially. If my face off is against the Victini, um, it could be running some sort of grass move to try and take us down. Um, grass is better coverage than ice for my team because of Alemamola and Hippowdon and stuff like that. So uh, that's why I've got the Rindo Berry to protect me against that and hopefully KO with an EQ. That would be a nice little plan if that comes to fruition. But we've got lots of little plans in this team and 
the main one is just letting Reunicross set up after getting rid of all the main bulky, horrifying threats. So yeah, that's gonna be the <laughs> that's gonna be the the main plan with this team. But yes, guys, the battle will be going up later today. So yeah, go and check that out. And I really do hope that you enjoy it. It is um. Yeah, it's a bit of a doozy. <laughs> anyway, I have been Anima of the Golden State Dragons. Thank you so much for showing your support, ladies and gentlemen. I really do appreciate it very much. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of your bad selves, and I will see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.